Hello, today's devotional can be found in Hosea chapter 6, verse 3. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter former rain under the earth. Okay. So, we have two choices in this life. To follow the Lord or not to follow the Lord. When we don't follow the Lord, we follow after the designs of man, who are, and possibly Satan, who can influence men by being a spirit, and influencing them to do terrible things to those who believe in God. Or we can follow men and be oblivious to the battle going on between good and evil, and choose to seek after that which is worldly. Or... We can follow the Lord. We can strive to know him as he knows us. We can choose to step beyond our ignorance by embracing the atonement of Jesus Christ that we might be rid of our sins and sorrow. That we might be able to look to knowing who we are and how we can become better. And if we come to know the Lord, if we follow on the path he has laid out for us, we shall see that his going forth, his teaching us, and the many things he has for us to do is prepared as the days are long. We have much to do according to the Lord, but not very much time. That's why we need to be wise with the time that we use, because time is a commodity that is so rare yet so easily spent. Because the moments pass so quickly, that's why it's rare. Because you can't really go back and collect those moments once they're gone. You have to move on. When you make a mistake, you cannot erase the mistake, but you can move on from it by repenting and making things right. I mean, of course, we make little mistakes and big mistakes, but the important thing is what we do about them, because we're not going to avoid making mistakes. We're not going to av avoid sin. And the Lord knows that. That's why he gave us the atonement, so that we could repent from our sins and not be stuck with them, even as we go forth to know the Lord. And even as we seek his rainfall of blessings by doing what he asks of us and seeking his spirit to be with us. I mean, mistakes are going to be made, it's obvious. It's very obvious that mistakes will be made. We will have times of spiritual depression, but we don't have to stay there because of the atonement. Because of the atonement, we can see the hand of the Lord in all things, and we're not just stuck staring at our sins. We can have them taken from us. They were paid for by the Lord already, so we don't even own them. So why on earth would we hang on to them? The going forth of the Lord, his teaching, his love, his compassion, his help, was foretold since the beginning. And the atonement has made it possible for God and man to communicate once more. After not being able to since the fall of Adam and Eve. And the rainfall of blessings that the Lord can send down upon us is infinite. If we are just willing to act in faith. And follow on to know the Lord. Even if all we can do is desire to know him. The Lord shall provide a way that we may know that the Lord's blessings can come upon us and that we are children of God first and foremost and that all other things are secondary. Because we may not feel like children of God sometimes, but that's what we are. And we shouldn't be afraid to... Embrace that which the Lord has 
for us to embrace. And if we do so, the Holy Spirit will be with us as long as we embrace righteousness and accept that which Heavenly Father gives to us and accept it with grace. I mean, trials will come, blessings will come. We can accept both with grace and endure all things well. And we shouldn't be afraid to embrace whatever the Lord has to give us because we can handle it. The Lord will give us what we need to be able to handle what he gives us. He wouldn't give us something without giving us a way to be able to handle it, whether it be a trial or blessing. If we look, if we choose to know the Lord, we can see his hand in our lives each and every day, and we won't have to feel alone. Satan wants us to feel alone that we might go and do sinful things and be sorrowful, but we are never alone. The Lord is always with us if we want him to be. And if he's not, we have chosen not to have him with us. It's up to us whether or not we see the Lord's hand in our lives. No one else. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.